Hi friends, it's Liz here. I have a couple things to show you today. I'm so excited. I have this LED light pad and I also have a few of the Michaels paper pads to show you as well. Today I'm going to be showing you this LED light pad and it's from a company called uh, Gaumon. They asked me if I would review it. And of course, my first thought was, how would I use this in my crafty projects, right? So I'll just show you what it looks like and then I'll give you a little bit more detail on what it does. The um, size of this one is actually nice and uh, large. So it's about uh, 15 inches by 11 inches. And um, it's not very thick, so it's like, Oh my gosh, it's just like a very nice small profile. It comes with its um, USB plug and that's all you really need to get it started. So you could plug this to a power bank, to your computer or to a power adapter. I happen to have um, a power adapter that um, is on my desk that plugs many of my items. And so I find that this is very easy to do. Now, the one thing I did want to mention is my biggest interest in this is because I've never used one and I've thought about um, you know trying different types of things out uh, with a light pad and I'll give you more details about that in a minute so I'm just going to plug it in and then I'll show you what some of the features of it are which I think are um, are really good for this one now I'm always looking for different ways to light up my work surface or my work because I do take photos as well when I am listing items or uh, posting things on Instagram, etc., And so the more lighting I have for an item, I think the better that will be. So I'm thinking that would be a good use for this one. I just wanted to show you how thin that profile is. So um, you can see that it also has like, uh, you know, some sort of measurements on your left and top. So that's also a great idea for anyone that needs to know exactly where something is being positioned. So you basically turn on the power button and you can see like on the screen, I think it looks like a blue light. And then there's like a few different settings for how bright you want it. And depending on how, you know, bright you want your light, then it remembers for the next time that you come back to turn it on. So I think that is really neat that it has that option as well. And like I said, it looks blue on your screen, uh, but obviously it is not blue when I'm staring at it um, on my desk. So again, it's really quick and easy. It doesn't really require anything more than you turning on the power button to turn it on. And you can get started with your projects that you want to make. So what I have seen with it is primarily people use this for um, drawing or sketching. And a lot of artists use this to, you know, get, uh, crisper lines etc on their projects. I'm just showing you here that it comes with a nice film that's covering the entire panel and it also came really nicely packaged. I just had taken it out so that um, I wouldn't have that much bulk when I am showing you the actual pad itself. Okay so here are the uses for something like this and um, the biggest one for sure like I mentioned before is sketching and that one is what primarily I find most people use it for. They are also using this for diamond paintings, which I haven't done before. Leave a comment below if you've done diamond painting. Apparently this helps you see it a little bit better. And then they also use it for weeding vinyl. So this is for people that have those machines that use vinyl to cut things up. Another way I've seen it used is for hand lettering. And this is just an example of how it would show through. So if you're trying to uh, practice hand lettering or um, you know, doing something that you've sort of printed from somewhere else before, like I've seen here, if I wanted to hand letter that thank you and just sort of copy it or the congratulations, I would do it right on top of the image that's below and then whatever paper I have on top, I can see it through. I've also seen this being used for sketching before you're doing your watercolors because I know a lot of people do that. So you've got your, you know, image behind your watercolor paper and then you'll put your watercolor paper on top and it will show through. So it'll be a little bit easier. Here's another sketch idea. So this is an image that let's say I would like to take some elements from in one of my journals and I would just put my journal page on top and, you know, hand draw some of these pieces that are here. So this is primarily the uses for 
um, a light pad. So I think if you have a lot of that going on in your crafty, you know, projects that you like to sketch things, but you're not that good like myself at actually drawing, then this would be a nice feature because you can look like you are hand drawing something even though you've just sort of, um, you know, copied from a previous image. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So this is another image that I have that I really love all these little, you know, uh, pots with the plants. So you can see here, I can see everything through my sheet of paper. So what I've done in my journal is I wanted to add, you know, some of these to a page, but of course me trying to actually do this freehand would not work. Uh, so what I did is I just put my paper on top of it, sketched it out, and then I can now add this to a page in my journal. So I'll just show you what I've done. And I really love this because of course the sky's the limit, right? Whatever image you have that you would like to copy. So you can see that here, I use the bottom right one on this coffee stain piece of paper, which is really nice to see through. So I used that there to sketch it out. And then I thought, okay, well, you know, I could have another image. I could write on this page. I could color this in afterwards. I did the same to the other part of the page here, as you can see. And it is so fun because I feel like I've actually done a hand-drawn piece in my work, but it was really just using this light pad to get that in. So of course you can imagine what you could use this for. Leave a comment below and let me know if you've used these before and if so, for what? And if you like this, um, this way that you could use it in your junk journals or you know you could use you can use it for um, card making as well if you want to actually um, write out your sentiment on your card you could have a pre-printed sentiment that you use for the card you're going to be sharing so really so many great uses for this I'm so glad they asked me to review it because I really had fun with it I will definitely be coming up with more ideas on how to use this um, LED light pad and um, I just think it's such a, a new way for me to use this as well. I have seen other people as well, like I said, use it for photos. So I would put my item on top of the, um, the screen and then take different angles and photos of it. And then you've got a nice bright light underneath so there's no shadows. So really there are quite a few different ways to use this. Uh, the other way I was thinking also is for um, envelopes. If you're doing you know, snail mail and you wanted to maybe do a hello on the front of your envelope or there is a, a nice image that you wanted to to put on it or even addressing the envelope itself. If you've got it already printed out or you want your lines exactly where they're supposed to go, then this would be a nice way to use that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know if you've used one before, if you have, uh, what you use it for, what your favorite way to use it is. It will help everyone else uh, reading the comments to get an idea as well. And I will have links to this light pad in the description box below if you're interested. So um, let me show you the Michaels paper pads that I recently found. I am so excited. So this one is called the Greenery and I really like the patterns. Now I've noticed, I guess this year, the paper pads now have three pages, like three designs to three pages to each design. That's what I wanted to say. And that's a little bit different than before because I know before we used to have uh, two designs per, um, or two pages per design. So I'm not sure why the change happened. I don't know what you think about the change. Um, obviously I'm still looking for the paper pads that um, I think I will be using in my projects. And this one is really lovely. Now, the other thing I've noticed is there's a lot of um, uh, plain patterns as well. So they have a lot more of those than in previous paper pads. That's a bit different. Um, I personally don't use a lot of the plain paper pads or plain papers, but um, you know, when it comes to maybe card making, which I've recently started um, focusing a little bit more on, then that may be, um, you know, something that would be nice. I like that there are three pages of these uh, tags. So that is kind of um, nice and useful as well. And like I said, it's just a, it's something to get used to, I guess, with the fact that they now have um, additional, uh, you know, pages to it. This one is the birthday one, which is perfect. I think if you make, again, cards, um, or if you're getting maybe a journal ready for like a birthday celebration, that would be really cute. 
Um, I really like this is a really nice bright color so this is something that I would probably put aside for maybe like a Valentine's Day or Christmas which reminds me do any of you like to do Christmas in July leave a comment below and let me know because I'm really considering um, starting you know something for um, July for Christmas but if it's not too much of an interest then maybe I won't do it so let me know below um, I really like these um, uh, gifts designs and then of course all the little extra so this one is definitely useful but as you can see again really um, a lot of those um, just plain pattern papers I don't know how I feel about them I wasn't really using them as much before but maybe this is something that um, is useful because it really can make you the full card now right you've got your um, back paper and then your pattern and then maybe even your sentiment right on top so that is actually a really cute idea uh, let me know if you're card makers if you are if you want to see uh, more card themed um, videos as well because I've recently started making them and I'm really enjoying it um, I might want to do that as well and this next one is called neutral textiles and it's different um, in the sense that it has um, well uh, you know patterns that are very um, kind of like texture almost like fabric so that is really cute. This one still does have the two papers to them. Now, I should say these are not part of their value uh, packages. So these ones are the more expensive paper pad collections. Um, and so I guess that's a difference with these ones when they still have the two pages uh, per pad, um, two patterns per pages and they have more pages in them than they're the more expensive paper pad. Um, I don't know how you're finding it, but again, I'm sort of trying to figure it out if I'm still, um, you know, interested in getting them when they are full price. Um, also, I've noticed their coupons are not great anymore, at least not in Canada. I don't know about anyone else outside of Canada, but we're not getting good coupons anymore with Michaels and um, everything just seems to be more expensive and less of um, what you're getting. So anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box below. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, flip through of the paper pads. If I do have more items uh, from Michaels, let me know if you wanna see them. I recently had like a, a little bit of a, a haul with items that were on clearance. So let me know if you're interested in that as well. And uh, yeah, any questions, leave them below. Don't forget to enter my giveaways still for the month of June. I have two left. Um, I hope you enter and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.